Welcome back mga kapanalig sa ating pong programa dito sa Katoktahanan. Bago po natin ipagpatuloy ang ating pagtatanong kay Mr. Francisco Colaico, a few messages gusto po natin bigyan daan. Sabi po ni Fabia Villaluna, so nice to hear from Mr. Colaico after a long while. Avid fan here. At saka si Winfred Tupas de Guzman. Hello, FJC and AQB at sa Katoktahanan. At marami pa po tayong mga may ano dito, mga uh, regular listeners na bumabati. No? Si Nanay Nila Marasigan, Warren Gumangan, at Sol Sabino, si Ray Rodriguez, Virgin Yegas, Amparo Sison, at marami pa po. Diba? Si Edith Lumbanya, no? ayan, hindi po nakakalimot yung mga yan. Salamat po sa inyong pakikinig. Okay, uh, gusto kong itanong ngayon uh, kay Mr. Olaiko, uh, ano po ba ang magandang pananaw para po doon sa mga nagkakaedad na? Paano po magkakaroon ng sense of purpose? Katulad po ninyo sa kabila ng uh, mga problema sa kalusugan, tungkol po sa uncertain financial situation, at kahit po yung mga physical tasks na hindi na nila kaya, ano po ang inyong nuggets of wisdom na maibibigay sa kanila? Well, no, no, there are nuggets of wisdom, but uh, I, I, I go by certain principles, and some of them are just practical principles. Some are based on school learnings, on the purpose of life, may halong theology, may halong fun. Uh, you might summarize this as, as the three rules of life. Uh, one is, uh, you have, in everything you do, you have to earn trust. You have to earn the trust of people, and you can only do that by doing what is right. And mean it. Doing what is right and mean. And then you should have an endless positive attitude. Para sa akin, pag ako naloko, and man, madami na nakaloko sa akin. I'm not bothered by that. Bakit sa akin, pag ako niloko mo, ikaw ang may problema, hindi ako. So I will not spend time going after you for revenge. No. I will just move on. Let you suffer by your own mistakes. I will do, I will do, I will continue to pursue only yung nasa isip ko. And uh, doing it, having fun, moving on. Kami ni Arman, when we were asked by the group of OFWs in the early, what, 90s, early 20s, late 90s, to help them set up the call for them, they explain their problems. I thought maybe that was, that was a, an opportunity to do one of the things all of us must do. To show some, show people you care. Na kahit pa paano, you share them what you know. Sometimes money, sometimes knowledge, sometimes time. Sometimes just giving them the encouragement. Na kaya mo yan. It's hard, happy to say we're now 15, 16 years in the in, oh, in that co-op. And we continue to do that. Not always successful financially, lalo na ito nangyari sa pandemia, ang daming bumagsak. Kasama na rin to a certain extent, a large extent, yung aming mga co-op projects. But that doesn't stop us from moving on and creating more purpose in what we're doing. Diyan maganda yung samahan namin. So, so to go back to your question, ano yung pinag-aandaan? Natural yung pag-aandaan yung anong paano ko kakain mabubuhay when I am retired and nobody else is with me. Importante talaga yung family, sense of family, community. Huwag mo wala sa atin. Because being alone is the worst thing that can happen to us. It doesn't mean that you have to have a family on your own. Be involved in community making, in community building, in your whether it is a physical community or spiritual. But you have to have. You cannot be alone. That is one. Your physical demand or economic demand of sangkatitira, sangkakakain, 
that is that has to be addressed within yung ano yung kaya mo ano yung situation mo you could be in a co-op or you can be in an NGO or you could have set aside for your future a certain amount hindi na ako pupunta sa detalye how to do that that's another subject but that's always a concern dito sa Pilipinas fortunately ang mga pamilya natin have this extended family attitude mindset that we will not We always help our extended families, whether it is our blood relations or even our just kasambahay. Nutulungan natin sila. And that is what is good about our culture. And I hope we don't lose that. Yung pagplano pa ng... Uh, yung iba kasi, material ang aspect eh. Kailangan yung konting pension po, siya agad ang binibili deteriorating asset and doesn't help unless you do it for helping your community and making money out of it at the same time. I, I cannot have any general general recommendation or specific recommendation on how to prepare for your future. You can say, say how do you feel secure? So I get a, a big deal, a big portion of that feeling secure is a devotion to somebody or something. Belief in God, in your God. Belief in the Holy Family. To me, napaka-important. It's such a calming... Uh, na kahit na anong problema, feeling ko, kaya naman may soul. Tutulungan ako. I may not have the solution now, but I am sure, because we've made our choices in life. Eh. We've made our choices in life. Eh. Wala tayong magagawa dyan eh. So, sometimes you've done wrong, sometimes you've done right. But what is done is done. But the Holy Family is there always. Especially the Blessed Mother to intercede. Sa amin, sa akin, napakalaking bagay. And I will not, I will not go out of my way to convince somebody who doesn't believe. And kanya yan. But that's the truth. And that's the reality of being a Catholic. Salamat so, po. Okay. Father Miguel, please uh, jump in kung meron po kayong tanong kay Mr. Colaico. Hey, uh, yung dagdag lang din dun sa ano, no? So siguro sa site din namin, siguro sa mga kapari, ano, yung mga, yun, yun nga din yung mga senior namin, uh, talagang ano, mas lalo na sa amin, sa religious, diverse, at tapos palipat-lipat, no? Talagang uh, up to the end, no? Parang ganun talaga, they, they, they value yung kung ano yung meron sila no at saka at the same time pinagpapasalamat nila na umabot sila sa ganung edad at saka talagang minamaterialize nila kung hanggang saan talaga yung skills nila or talents nila no ibinabahagi nila at saka one step at a time hindi sila yung kung ano yung ano kung ano yung uh, kung ano yung meron ubusin kagad parang ganun no iniisip din nila yung future parang ganun so para may nadudukot may mga ganyan tapos uh, yun din no kung ano pa yung maitutulong ibinabahagi nila Ganun yung sa amin dito sa, sa, sa amin sa Carmelites din. Okay. Thank you, Father. Meron tayong natanggap na message uh, through text, Mr. Colaico. And uh, this particular listener was a student of your mom's at mm-hmm. UST College of Education, English class. She is uh, now 71 years old, living in Antipolo. We would like to greet Mrs. Eleanor Rosendo. Good morning po and thank you for listening and sharing your um, your uh, memory of uh, Professor Colaico. It's nice to hear. Opo, meron pa rin isang mensahe galing din sa text. Uh, nakikinig po, salamat sa Diyos. Uh, palagi po tayong gabayan ng Espiritu kasama natin ng Diyos. At uh, tayo pong lahat, salamat po. Si Esther Salandanan. Sabi naman ni Rosemary Espinas, I'm now turning to our uh, Facebook Live comment section. Ang sarap makinig kay Sir Colaico. Ang daming lessons learned. Ayan. So thank you very, very much sa inyong mong pag-subaybay. Uh, okay. Uh, Sir Colaico, uh, i-share nyo nga po sa amin. Ano po yung mga... Uh, pinakamalalaking kabiguan na pinagdaanan ninyo at paano niyo po nalampasan ang mga iyon? Uh, the one, uh, yung 
As an entrepreneur ako, I was a professional in 40 years, or 40, up to the age of 40. And I decided, sasarili na ako, ayoko na mag -embryo. And I, I had a very good job. Uh, I was running an international the division of an international conglomerate. And I had all the perks. And my, my, my wife was also well employed, uh, very well uh, placed as an executive in another conglomerate. And I asked her support. Na set up a business doing something that I was doing for 17 years. So it was not new. I was just going to do what I what I created for my employer, but this time I would do it for myself. So I had a French partner and a Swiss partner. They took 40% of the company. I was 60% of the company. Lahat na savings namin, tinaya ko na. Tinaya. With, of course, the approval of my wife. Taya na tayo. Because in assess namin yung risk, Maganda. To make a long story short, we had seven contracts to fulfill na cost plus na walang talo. I had, I pirated people from other companies. I will already spent my savings tra training the mga tao to start the contracts. And you know what happened? All the banks were ready to lend us money. What happened was something I could have never imagined. Not a single contract materialized for a very technical reason. The resources we were employing, which is the Filipino engineers, not in the ordinary people, Filipino engineers and very talented, were not allowed in the countries we were supposed to operate. Nagkaroon ng political issue at that time. And how would I have known that? Beyond our control. So all of a sudden, I found myself in a situation na nakataya lahat, lahat exposed to risk with no income. Ubus, in other words, mauubus ako. So that's why my hair then turned white. <laughs> Bagay naman so, po eh. Ako nga rin eh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, how did I overcome that? I looked, I took my past relationships with all my past clients who were who were not European because my our contacts were all European. I went back to my Japanese friends, my Japanese clients, whom I served very well. And they I earned their trust. I just went to them and said, I need your help. Kahit na, no? And they all did. Not as profitable, not bad. It saved the day. And I moved on from years on. So, how did that happen? Because I earned their trust. It didn't happen overnight. That was what I said to You do what is right, you earn the trust of people. That's also what happened in another major problem in the U.S. When my investors all of a sudden realized we would lose all our money because of an earthquake in San Francisco. The money I brought to America with my clients was going to be lost because of the earthquake. What did I do? I came back and told them the truth. There's nothing we can do humanly possible. But I have another idea. Can you, are you willing to invest so we can, we can recover? And 100% they did. What is again the moral lesson? Because I earned their trust. Nako. Ang gandang uh, payo niya no sa mga kabataan ngayon no invest in the trust of people around you no na you sa pagtag o oh, po sa pagtagal ng panahon no yan ang pwede ninyong babalik-balikan especially 
sa mga panahon ng kabiguan, failures, and so on. Thank you very much, Mr. Kolaiko. Hindi pa po tayo tapos. Mga kapanalig, magpapatuloy pa po kami ni Father Migs and hopefully we'll have Armand back. 